Hello friends, I'm so happy that you're here. It's Sunday and you know we're in between seasons and I go through withdrawal so I'm so happy you're here to spend some time with me and I wanted to talk tonight about some unanswered questions. We have unanswered questions from season eight as well as season nine and I want to address seven of them. Since you're here, click the button and subscribe and also click the bell and the word all for notifications. Okay, let's start with question number one that I have in my head. This has to do with the cabin in the woods. That's actually what they called on the Jamestown movie set, the cabin in the woods. It's where the Canfields were the last uh, people that we know of to live there. And they moved out and they moved into one of the row homes. But it was so secretive in season eight. And I thought it was going to be this big secret that would unfold. And I don't know if... They kind of had one idea maybe going into season nine and they wound up editing it and changing it. And is it, I mean, it was such a big idea who the mystery was and how they were guarding it. So I'm hoping that it's not forgotten and it is weaved into the storyline of season 10. Um, I'm thinking that it's going to be a surprise uh, that will be a little like, oh, to us, like a little bit of a shock. I am also thinking that maybe the writers, their ideas for season nine and who was living into it, living in it will have changed for season 10. So I don't know. Who could it be? I'm thinking it is going to be someone that we know in some way. And it's going to be like, oh, that's who's living there. I don't know if it's going to be as nefarious, is that the word, as it could have been for season nine. But season nine was not as dangerous as I thought it was going to be. So what do you, who do you think lives in that cabin in the woods? Hmm? I don't know. And then we have another question from season eight, and that would be, who bought the gas station? I remember seeing a behind the scenes, um, I think it was a photo of Joseph and he was fixing the undercarriage or looking at the undercarriage of Lucas's car. And it was even tagged like that. I think Peter DeLuise shared it. We didn't see that. I, I don't remember ever seeing that. So I was assuming that maybe Joseph, he was interested in the gas station. Did he buy it? Or even if he was working as a mechanic, but we saw Joseph do a lot of things. Past being a pastor, running the sawmill, going around and like, you know, building and fixing, doing carpentry work. Plus with the minis, um, working at the cafe and, you know, being in partnership with Minnie. So um, I can't imagine that he is running the gas station, but who is? I think that would be neat to find out because it was a few people who were inquiring about it and we never really addressed it. Maybe it was just one of the things that Wyman was acquiring all along the way and maybe now it's changed hands. I don't know. I just think it would be fun to know. Just something I want to know. What do you think? Who do you think owns the gas station? Okay, now these are not from season eight. These are questions that came about in season nine. And the first one I wanted to talk about is so exciting to me because I am a Rosemary and Lee fan. I knew that they were going to have a baby. I just knew it was going to happen. Um, I knew somebody was going to have a baby. I had predicted that. At the time, I think when I first made my predictions, I didn't realize that... Um, Clara was not going to be there with Jesse because I was wondering maybe they would have a baby, but someone would be having a, a baby. We haven't had a baby in a while, and I'm so happy it's Rosemary and Lee. But how far along is she? So they they didn't really have blood tests or ways to test back then, other than not to get too graphic here, but you know, a woman's cycle if she missed the cycle. But it was sort of hinted because they don't really get into all that medical technology that um, Rosemary had issues. So, um, but she was healthy, but they, but she couldn't get pregnant. And, you know, anyway, to make a long story short here, I'm thinking that she's about four months pregnant or about around 16 weeks. I know time is, you know, not like the same in Hope Valley that it is in the rest of the world, <laughs> but, um, when she felt the, the quickening, that's what it's called, the quickening, 
Uh, you Normally, you're around 18 weeks, 18 to 20 weeks, but you can feel it as early as like 13. So I'm thinking maybe in August, September, October, November, we're now at the end of November. She's about four months pregnant. So going into season uh, 10, if they do a time hop, she'll be even further along. That's a whole other video. But what do you think? You think I'm right? She's about that far gone? I don't know. I'm just, I'm curious because it's kind of like we had to kind of like guesstimate that one. Just a question that my mind wants to know the answer to, but those are my thoughts and predictions. Okay, now moving into mayor. So Hickam, he he come he you know steps down from being mayor, and they make that announcement at the, towards the very end of the uh, uh, episode twelve. But then Bill leaves, and then we hear when Nathan's talking to Faith. Rumor has it that Bill's mayor again. But Bill's going away. He's got to go to Union City to heal. So is Hickam still going to be mayor? Or is Lee going to take over? Is there somebody that's going to be like an interim mayor? I know that you can appoint someone. So I'm curious about that. I'm curious if why Bill's away, whoever might be the interim mayor, um, unless Hickam keeps it on. But I really thought he stepped down. I think it would be neat to see um, if they would keep it up because Bill, you know, has a lot of things going on in his life and he really has to take care of himself. So I just feel like that would be another fun little storyline, especially going into season 10, because you know how Bill is. He's very protective. So whoever's running the show and taking care of the town, you know, he could be a little like jealous when he comes back. I don't know. It's just something I'm, I'm thinking about for now. It's not a full on prediction, but it is a question in my mind. What do you think? I love this. Put this in the comments because then you and I can interact. I'm excited. And then everyone else that comments too. All right, so I'm moving on to my next question, and that's for the Canfields. You see Joseph and um, Minnie. I thought at first it was they were having their indoor picnic um, in the um, inside the cafe, but they weren't. Like the cafe was closed. They were having it inside the church or the school, and they're talking about him finally accepting going into business with Minnie's father. And I'm thinking. Well, what business would that be? Does that mean that Minnie's father will be the person who helps with the loan and sort of pays off the part that is the co-signing with Lee? Um, and is that it? And for the cafe, or is it something different? Will he be buying out Lee in the lumber mill? I mean, I, or or is he going to take on the whole other type of job? And I'm wondering... So to me, he's like going into business with him. Is he going to be going into business with him in, in um, St. Louis? Or are we finally going to get to meet Minnie's family in season um, 10? I know that's a lot of questions, but they all kind of like go together. Interesting things. I'm just, again, what do you think about this? Okay, now my next question has to do with, and please, oh, please, I hope this is not what you're doing, writers. I love you. I, I love you. I love you. But please, please, please do not make another love triangle. Although even if you did, I feel like when the love triangle is a woman with two men, that the female fans out there and the male fans, you know, that are all invested, they get more crazed over that than when it's a male choosing two uh, two females. I, I don't know why, just my opinion. But I do not want a love triangle. But I'm talking about um, Nathan and May, Sue, and then Nathan and Faith. And you could see May Sue is interested. And, she, you know, she's in the clear now. They saw that little exchange when they were in the uh, cafe having, like, coffee, I guess. And then you see Faith. You know, Faith, of course, professes how she's feeling to Molly, who knew all along. And then uh, Molly says to her, oh, well, do you feel better when she sees May, you know, came into town? And she's like, oh, yes, yes, yes. But I don't know. I'm hoping and predicting that it is not a triangle. What I would really like, this is a wish more than a prediction, is that they do maintain all of their friendships going into season 10, but somebody totally different comes into Nathan's world. And um, again, I have more to say about that, but that's, that's you know, later on. I'm curious to see who, like, do you think there's going to be a triangle? Or do you think you already know the direction of where Nathan's going? Is he going to be pursuing a relationship with Faith in season 10? Or do you think it's going to be going to be with May Sue? So um, again, it's a lot of questions, but it comes down to one. And the last question has to do with um, 
Bill and Molly. Do you remember when Molly drove him um, to Union City? I'm pretty sure that's where she she they went, right? And I love them when like she's driving and trying to give he's driving and she's trying to give him directions. And she's like, Are you sure you don't want me to drive? He's like, Yeah, no. <laughs> anyway, when she comes back, um, she being Molly, she's very excited. And she goes over to Faith and she's like, I've got something I have to tell you. So what do you think? Do you think that maybe Bill, you know, was so preoccupied in season nine that he has, um, he's like said to Molly, look, you know, I know I'll be away for a while, but you know, you and I should start courting. Do, do you think that is what the news is? Um, I think I'm leaning towards something like that. I don't know how official, but um, someone had said, oh, they ran off and, and eloped. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think they eloped. But I do think that maybe they're going to make their courtship official. Now, the reason why I think this is if you watch right from episode one in season nine, right away, Mo and Molly talks about her feelings um, and having feelings for Bill. And you'll see it repeated through the storyline. You'll even see Bill talking about having someone taking care of him. He talked about it twice when he drank the cough syrup and then when he was having a conversation with Nathan again, he talked about it. So I feel like that's a definite. And then, of course, Molly's talked about it more and more. I mean, she had faith in Bill. She wouldn't say anything negative about him. She talked about carrying a torch and and the negative part was when they were mad. Some of them were mad because it, they felt like Bill was, you know, not having faith in Lucas and was going to like go in cahoots with Wyman and, and sell the saloon. Remember that? So she had faith the whole time, even to the very, of course, last last episode. So I'm thinking that that's where they are deciding to be officially courting. Okay, so those are the unanswered questions that I have. I do have some predictions and ideas for each of them, but I would like to hear what you have to say. And I hope I didn't ramble too much. It's been a crazy busy day. Um, I hope you're having a great summer and we'll talk soon next Sunday. See you later.